Hi everybody, welcome to Jones Stadium. 84 degrees, winds from the south at 18 miles an hour, and the Wyoming Cowboys. Yes, you remember Wyoming from last year. Let's pick it up on their first possession, second and eight. This is Joe Hughes, a junior college quarterback, complete to Edmund over the middle, Anthony Wiley on the tackle. First and 10, Hughes, the quarterback draw good for a gain of 12, and at first and five from the Tech Five, Dwight Driver, touchdown. 33-yard drive, four plays, and, well, nightmares of last year as Wyoming goes on top the score, seven to nothing. Wyoming, 12-36, left in the first quarter. Quinlan kicks off for the Cowboys. Tracy Saul fields the ball at the nine. He gets outside the containment. He's across the 40 midfield and finally pushed out of bounds at about the 36-yard line. Second and 10 from the 36. Robert Hall, and what a night he'll have. Completes near the left hash mark to Lloyd Hill for 21 yards. And we'll talk about Lloyd all night. Two plays later after an interference call, first and seven. Robert Hall on the keeper into the end zone. Touchdown, 11 minutes and 17 seconds to go in the first quarter as John Davis adds the extra point. 36-yard drive, three plays, and it's all tied up. Back to Wyoming now. First and 10 from the 37. Driver takes the handoff. He's stacked up by Mike Lizio, loss of one. Three plays later, first and 10. Hughes to pass. He completes it to Edmund. Tracy Saul knocks him out of bounds after a gain of 22. Two plays later, first and 10. Driver will be stopped behind the line by Quincy White. Loss of two. Make it now second and 12 from the Tech 14. Hughes to pass. Good to Yarbrough. Touchdown. Well, the Cowboys just won't go away whether you play them in Laramie or Lubbock as they jump back ahead 14 to 7. Texas Tech comes right back. Second and 10. Robert Hall rolls to his left. Completes to Lloyd Hill. That good for a gain of 12. Robert again wants to pass, going deep to Daryl Mitchell. Good, nice catch, gain of 38. Two plays later, second and 10 from the uh, Wyoming 38. Robert back to pass, complete. Lloyd Hill along the sideline inside the 25 before he is rudely knocked out of bounds. Paul again wants to pass, looks for the end zone. Ball is incomplete, but flags fly. This is now fourth and goal. Bam Morris gets the call. Looks like he got into me, but the official ruled he was down at the one foot line. So Wyoming takes over. Make it second and nine now. Hughes wants to throw, does complete. Ball is uh, taken there by Yarbrough. Anthony Wiley knocks him down after a gain of 17. Three plays later, Hughes completes to Jones, and this is good for 16. Two plays later, second and four from the 49. Hughes on the quarterback draw. He's straight up the middle, finds the sidelines inside the 25 down to the 21 yard line into the first quarter, 14 to seven Wyoming. Well, we've got a shootout, don't we? Wyoming uh, finds the going a little tough, so Midland goes for the 22 yard field goal, 13 49 left in the first half, 17 to seven Wyoming on top. Midland kicks off. Marcus Coleman, freshman from uh, Richardson Lake Highlands, returns it to the 35. At first and 10, Robert Hall wants to pass. It is good. Complete for a gain of 13 to Lloyd Hill. First and 10 now from the 48. Bruce Hill in motion. Robert Hall with the fake. Screen pass back to Bruce Hill. He makes a nice uh, move there. Gets free for a gain of nine. Four plays later, second and 10 from the 40. Robert wants to throw. Darrell Mitchell, great catch. Good for 32 yards. Make it first and eight from the uh, Wyoming eight yard line. Robert rolls right, hits Don Hasley. May go in, no he's knocked down at the three yard line. Don a little upset right there on the next play. Bam, Morris into the end zone. Nice uh, move, touchdown. And Texas Tech uh, after a drive of 65 yards, seven plays, John Davis with the extra point. And that cuts it back to a 17-14 Wyoming lead. John Davis with the kickoff. Roan, who used to be a Red Raider and then transferred out to Wyoming, is finally knocked out of bounds after he goes across midfield. John Davis knocks him out at the 41, 58 yard return. Second down and 10 from the 41. Dwight Driver, who had 100 plus yards, gets three. Third and seven. 
Hughes wants to pass. Intended for Jones. Boy, is it broken up there by Brady Field and Mike Lissio. Tech takes over after a punt. First and 10 at the seventh. Bruce Hill straight up the middle. Nice move. Bounces to the outside. Back on the inside. He's at the 15 after a gain of eight. Two plays later, first and 10 from the 19. Classical Freeman from Fort Worth Western Hills also gains eight. But the drive stalls. Robert King had a great night. Here he punts the ball. It bounces over Rohn's head. He picks it up in the end zone. He may get caught for a safety. No, going to be pulled down at the two-yard line. Let's pick it up second and seven from the five. Hughes looks to pass. Tons of time. Complete to Edmund. Pulled down by Marcus Coleman. Gain of 16. First and 10 now from the 21. Hughes rolls to his right. He's going to be uh, kept and pushed out of bounds by Steve Hoffman. Good to see Steve back. That for a gain of one. Five plays later, third and three from the 50. Hughes rolls right. Again, he's knocked out of bounds by Hoffman and John Pitts, who gets action. Gain, uh, no gain on the play. Make it fourth and three. Gragert punts. Tracy Saul fair catches at the 18. Two minutes, 18 seconds left in the first half. Wyoming still on top. Pick it up, first and 10 from the 18. Robert Hall looks to pass. To who else? Lloyd Hill, good. Nice catch, gain of 15. First and 10 now, clock running, ball at the 33. Robert drops to pass. Again, complete to Lloyd. Lloyd picks up good yardage, he's in Wyoming territory. First and 10 from the 47. Robert looks, Mike Honeycutt is there. He has it good for a gain of 12. Make it first and 10 now from the 35. Robert on the audible, but he's in trouble. Bruley really sacks him rudely, and the Raiders have to take a timeout. After the timeout, the Bammer gets the call. He's inside the 40, the 35, close to the 30-yard line. That gain of 10 makes it third and six from the 31. Robert wants to throw over the middle intended for Donald Marshall. There's a, a bump, a collision, and a yellow flag. First and 10, Raiders at the 16. Robert drops back, throws. Daryl Mitchell, touchdown. What a great pass. Hey, Daryl. <laughs> As Daryl greets some of his fans, and the Raiders have a little celebration in the end zone. That was an 82-yard drive, seven plays. John Davis, extra point. As the Raiders go up 21-17, final play of the first half, Driver will take the draw play, and big Stephen Gaines smashes him down. Take a look at some eye-opening stats at halftime. by Lloyd Hill and Daryl Mitchell. Well, the Raiders kick off. John Davis puts his foot to the ball. Rome takes it at the six. And the coverage game has been less than sparkling thus far in the season. Let's pick it up first and 10 from the 42. Whoa, what a sack by Sean Jackson. Move it to second and 16 from the 36. Hughes wants to pass. Tons of time complete to Edmund Anthony Wiley stops him after a gain of 14. Move it four plays later, first and 10 from the 30. Hughes to pass, completes over the middle to Yarborough, and he is slammed into the end zone for a 30-yard touchdown. 69-yard drive, seven plays, and Wyoming back on top, 24-21. Well, Tech's next possession, third and 10 from the 23. Robert wants to pass. Now he scrambles. He's up along the left sideline, good for a gain of 10. First and 10 now from the 33. Robert wants to pass. Intended for Darrell Mitchell. Wow, is he hit. Luckily, little Darrell comes up and moves off the field under his own power. Let's move two plays later. Second and 20 from the 23. Robert to pass complete along the left hash mark by Lloyd Hill. He acknowledges the crowd. First and 10 from the 49. The Bammer gets the ball. He moves along the left sidelines. He's at the 40, the 30, 25, 20. 10-5 touchdown, Texas Tech. 
back on top after a 77-yard drive, sixth place. It took two minutes and three seconds as John Davis adds the extra point. Make it uh, Texas Tech 28 and Wyoming 24. Pick it up now, first and 15 for Wyoming. Driver steers to the right side. He's stopped by Pitts and White after a gain of three. Two plays later, third and 12. Hughes to pass. He goes for a wide open Yarborough, but throws it out of bounds. The Cowboys have to punt. Gregor kicks it. Tracy saw fields it at the 39. He moves to the right sideline. He's up to midfield. Down the sideline, he cuts it back in. He's at the 20, the 15, 10, 5, touchdown. But hold it. We had a clip and bring it back from there. First and 10 from the 28. Robert to pass, complete along the right hash mark to uh, Lloyd Hill. Good for a gain of 19. Three plays later from the 37. Robert to Lloyd, gain of 11. Fourth and nine now. Robert King supposedly wants to punt. No, Tracy wants to throw, and the ball is incomplete. And Wyoming will take over. First and ten from the 47. Hughes complete to Eric Edmund. Good for a gain of two. Knocked out by Anthony Wiley. On the next play, second and eight from the 45. Driver on the carry. He is smacked down by Stephen Gaines. Good for a loss of one. Fourth and nine now from the 46. Gregor to punt. And Tracy Saul will field the ball at the 11. He's going to be knocked down and really slammed hard after a return of one yard. Make it first and 10. 447 left in the third quarter. Robert, naked bootleg along the right side. Good for a gain of 21. Four plays later, the drive stalls. Fourth and 20 from the 23. King to punt. Rome fields it at his own 29. And he starts up the middle and is going to bring it back to the Wyoming 43. Let's pick it up first and 15 from the 38. Hughes completes in the right flat. What a hit by Mike Lissio. Loss of three for the Cowboys. Two plays later, third and eight from the 45. Hughes to pass. Completes over the middle to Jones. Zach Thomas stops him after six. And that brings up another punting down. Fourth and two. Dragger to punt. Saul Fair catches at the Tech 19 after a 30-yard punt. 135 left third quarter, first and 10. Robert Hall wants to pass. Throws along the right sideline. What a catch by Lloyd Hill. 18-yard gain. After a three-quarter, it is Wyoming 24, but the Red Raiders 28. Let's go to the final action now. Pick it up third and five from the 45. Robert straight back. Completes along the left sideline to Darrell Mitchell. Good for a gain of 11. First and 10 at the 34. The Bammer gets the call. Big hole right side. Nice blocking by that offensive line. Good for a gain of 12. Three plays later. Third and six from the 18. Robert checks off. Throws back to Lloyd Hill. Touchdown. 18 yards. Make it an 80-yard drive. 11 plays. Four minutes and four seconds on the drive. John Davis adds the extra point. And suddenly it is Texas Tech 35, Wyoming 24, 12 31 left in the ball game. John Davis kicks it off. Rome will feel the ball at the one. He finds the outside and look out, John Davis has to make the tackle. It's a 48 yard kickoff return. Third play of the drive, second down and one at the 42. Driver stacked up in a collision there by uh, Mike Lissio. Loss of two, two plays later, first and five from the Tech 31. Driver met head on by Sean Jackson. Nice tackle, Sean was hurt on the play. He also walked off under his own power. Second and four from the Texas Tech 30. Hughes wants to pass. He finds Tillman. Donnie Brooks finds uh, the uh, receiver but not until Wyoming has gained 17. Two plays later, second and four. Driver heads right, turns left, and moves back in after a gain of four. First and three from the Tech three. Driver starts right, Marcus Coleman hits him, but he goes into the end zone, and just like that, Wyoming is back within three. Eight minutes, 32 seconds left. Texas Tech 35, Wyoming 32. Wyoming with the uh, short kick, Darrell Mitchell covers it, and Texas Tech takes over with the ball at the 32-yard line. First and 10, Robert 
quarterback draw, nice feet, gets to the outside. He's across the 30 to 35, up to the 42 yard line. Second and five, ball is at midfield. The Bammer, short side of the field, and he is tough to bring down. Gain of seven, three plays later, first and 10 at the 33. Robert Hall is pressured, he's sacked by Marcellus, loss of 11, second and 21 from the 44. Robert looks deep, throws for Lloyd Hill, it is complete, ball is down at the five yard line. Two plays later from the two, Bammer over after great blocking. And that is a 68 yard drive, 10 plays, took four minutes and 29 seconds. As a little celebration in the end zone, Davis with the extra point. Texas Tech 42, Wyoming 32, 403 left in the ball game. Let's pick it up with Wyoming, first and 10 from their own 21. Hughes completes to Yarborough. Brady Fields knocks him down after a gain of 10. Two plays later, second and 10 from the 31. Hughes again wants to pass. He completes it to Jones. Mike Lissio thought he had the interception, but it's good for a gain of 13. Later in the drive, Hughes wants to pass. Out in the flat, it's intercepted by Marcus Coleman. He's going all the way. Ball was intended for Yarborough. It is a touchdown. Marcus Coleman, a true freshman, goes in for the touchdown. John Davis adds the extra point. Texas Tech 49, Wyoming 32. Plenty of smiles in the locker room, so let's go there. Well, I think the, the big thing that, that people fail to realize, uh, we said Wyoming's going to be tough, it's going to be hard to win the game, we're going to play good. Nobody pays any attention to you. They think that Wyoming, uh, you played Oklahoma last week and you lost, and you beat Wyoming, you just sort of show up. <laughs> Man, it's tough. That was a solid, uh, hard night, now I'm telling you, and uh, it was a hard game. Wyoming, is they came to play, they played uh, extremely hard. They're a physical football team. Uh, I'm, I'm really proud of our football team. I thought they hung in there and did a fine job. I thought they played with, uh, with a degree of confidence I've not seen in a long time. Uh, we got behind in the game and nobody got their head down. Nobody panicked, nobody vapor locked. You know, they just kept right on going. And, uh, and they had some confidence and had, some, uh, had a lot of poise. And, and when that's the case, well, uh, you know, you're getting a team. The chemistry of this football team, the, the, the guys just really do get along. You know, they really do pull for each other, the offense and the defense. And, and uh, so I think there's a lot of good things can happen. You know, we've got to certainly, uh, I hate to come in just after we win a game and say we've got to go to work and get, you know, cure up a bunch of ails, but, but we had extremely too many penalties. Just, I mean, just horrible. And uh, we had, uh, and some of those are just lack of discipline. We jumped off sides and jumped off sides and jumped off sides, and we held and we held and we held, and and um, but you know we still overcame it all. There, there's been a lot of times we couldn't do that. So we're making progress. We really are. The uh, this team that we played tonight is going to win a lot of football games, I think. And uh, they uh, they've got a lot of firepower. But tonight. Uh, I, I thought we had a great game plan on offense. I thought it was well conceived. I thought it was well executed. Uh, Robert Hall did a fine job playing quarterback for us. I thought he was an excellent leader on the field. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anybody have a better night Lloyd Hill catching the football. Yeah, it's a big win for us. Uh, you know, we, we really need to come out and play well and and uh, do some things to win the game. And, uh, you know, you know, we did that. Uh, you know, defense-wise, we didn't uh, didn't play real well at times, and, and we didn't do some of the things we needed to do. But, you know, we felt like we stopped them when we had to. And, and of course, the offense played great tonight. You know, they scored, they moved the ball. and. Um, you know, anytime they do that, it makes it a lot easier on the defense. So, uh, you know, I want to give a lot of credit to the offense tonight. They did a great job. And, and uh, you know, defense-wise, we, we played good when we had to. I thought at times it, it was good and, and, and better at other times. But uh, I tell you, I can't explain how exciting this is. It's, it's been <laughs> – I mean, uh, we had a tough loss last week, and we knew that, but we knew we had to improve in some areas, and we went out and did that. Uh, I mean, I think in the second half we came together as a football team. In the first half we kind of – 
we were sluggish. We did some good things, but uh, Wyoming, they got a good football team, and, and they did what they had to do at times to stop us. And, I mean, look at the goal line stand they put up on us. Uh, that was a great job by them. But in the second half, we made some some small adjustments. And I think we mentally we came out and we were ready to play in the second half. I think we played a lot better and harder uh, than we played against OU. After they start scoring and we start scoring, we knew that we have to score a lot of points, and, and we were able to do that. Uh, the offensive line brought well. The running backs did well. And, you know, I think that the young receivers got some balls, and it's more, more and more balls they catch, the more confidence they'll get. Some of the defense was saying tonight that the offense kept in the game. It looked for a while it was just going to be who scored the most, a scoring shootout, uh, and you, your offense came on top. What did you think about the offensive performance in general? I think we did good. I think we executed, and I think we played the game. I think the game was score a lot of points and see who win, and I think we did that well. You know, defense got two players, uh, starters that's hurt now, and we're just trying to do our part and maybe carry the team if we can until they get back. Uh, were there any adjustments made from the Oklahoma game? The, the offense seemed to click a lot better, especially in the second half. Everything seemed to be just right on. Well, basically, I think we looked at the OU film quite a bit and learned you know, from our mistakes. And, you know, we would like to play that game again. We think we didn't play that well. Just this week, we just tried to execute and play as hard as we could. The offense, we came out, you know, we came out fired up and played like we should have played against uh, Oklahoma. We came out half fun. You have to everybody caught a pass, uh, got a, a long run. We were giving each other high fives. You know, we we're just excited. We we're more excited this game than we were Oklahoma. Yeah, some spectacular catches tonight. Uh, good job keeping some feet inbounds and some of those catches and some nice touchdown catches. Uh, personally, what did you do to the, from the Oklahoma game to strengthen your receiving game? You know, run better routes, uh, concentrate more on the ball and, you know, get those other receivers fired up because we knew we were going to need them. You know, if, you know, they had two people on me, we knew we were going to need them. Uh, the other three receivers to come in and do a good job. Well, for a while it looked like it was going to be which team scored the most was going to come out the winner tonight. And uh, what did you think about the defense in general? How, how do you think they have made the adjustment to play tonight? Our defense? Uh, I think uh, after they saw the defense saw the offense uh, fired up, you know, scoring touchdowns and making big plays. I think they uh, they had the momentum and you know they came back and did a good job uh, defensively. Daryl Mitchell made some great catches tonight, maybe taking some pressure off you. Uh, how do you feel about kind of sharing the wealth with him and uh, making a great combo there. Well, I feel real good. You know, that gives me that gives me a break. You know, time to you know catch my breath. You know, to have confidence in those other receivers to catch the ball. And I think Rob and uh, Coach Winter had some confidence in them to you know throw them the ball. I don't know how you uh, and certainly you know Bam's got to get better. He once on the goal line he didn't make it, and and uh, but he's a he's got a unique style. And his style is that uh, he's hard to get his, their arms around him. It's hard to tackle him, and and he makes some. He never quits, and he he's got great balance. And uh, he did an excellent job. I thought he blocked better than that. A couple of times, uh, maybe he uh, they got to Robert when he he should have got a block. Most time he blocked well. And uh, the guy he's blocking is about six foot seven and about two fifty or two sixty, and that's not always easy. So he did a, he did an admirable job. Lord, he was uncanny. I don't know that I've ever seen anybody catch the ball out. He made a catch in front of their bench tonight that that they, I mean, you talk about all the pro players you want to, they can't anybody make that catch like that. Golly. He looked quicker than I've ever seen him. He uh, he really is a competitor. He is at one of the most fierce competitors I've ever met in my whole life, and that was obvious tonight. And Robert, I don't know what you say about Robert. He, uh, you know, Robert made a lot of key down, a lot of key plays for us, a lot of first downs for us running the football. And uh, he's just tough and gritty and a competitor. And uh, he was very, uh, I thought he played well. I thought the things that he did tonight were uh, were big league. You know, he a lot of, uh, he had a lot of confidence in his line. He'd go back there and set up. He didn't, wasn't, didn't have those uh, nervous feet. And um, stood in that pocket and just, just played like a champion. So that, that part of the game was great. We really worked hard offensively this week because we felt last week against Oklahoma, you know, they gave us a lot of chances, you know, to punch it in and score, but we just didn't take advantage of it. So, you know, we watched a lot of films this week on our mistakes, and we just corrected those mistakes tonight. This is pretty much the way the offense was going at the end of last season. Hopefully we can expect to see 500-plus yards every week. Yeah, I hope so, too, and I really like the way we performed tonight. And, you know, I give a lot of credit out to Wyoming defense and Wyoming as a unit and a group.
we were playing cover five, you know, and my, my job in cover five is to slide laterally into a flat, you know, just hold off the curl and, and the out. And uh, he just he just threw it straight to me, you know, and I just read it and I just picked it. I was gone. So, you know, it was, it was exciting, you know, but it's a good way to start off being a freshman. So. What did you think about the defensive uh, effort tonight in general coming off a uh, sluggish game against Oklahoma last week and a much improved uh, effort this week? What did y'all think? Yeah, we played as a team today. Uh, we came in. We did. We were a little depressed after last week. You know, we came in, practiced hard. You know, we just went and played as a team. That, I think that that contributed to the win. So. Did the defense make any adjustments at halftime to come out and have such a good half after that? No, we just we just said come play it. You know, just come with it. You know, uh, we just trying to make ourselves known. You know, as a big hit defense, big play defense. You no, know, we just came out and played. So. Well, it's got to feel good to get that first win under the belt. Just that first one. Uh, how does this make the team look forward? to the rest of the season? Um, you know, we're looking cotton bowl right now. We're just taking it one one Saturday at a time. And uh, right now we're pretty hyper. We're going to come in, work hard again, you know, try to be Oregon. So. Marcus is a good player, and he's done a good job for us. And Marcus gets better uh, ever ever practice. You know the thing about our defense, John, and uh, – you know, this is a thing that, that people get in the old, old cliche of things about, you know, they're, they're just not going to make any yards. You're not going to shut people out anymore. I mean, if you can't outscore some people, you're not going to win. Of course, we proved that last year. We beat Houston, you know, 1,000 to 900 or something, it seemed like. And uh, and that's not to just, that's not to soft pedal the fact that we were too poor on defense, but we played pretty darn good defense. I'll tell you something, those big son of a guns are good blockers. They lined up and blocked us, and they executed well, and they made a lot of plays up there tonight that, we, it wasn't any lack of preparation, it's just lack of a uh, 280-pounder blocking a 230-pounder, and they did a good job. The back did a good job running. The quarterback was uh, – thought he was patient. I thought he did a nice job. Uh, we had a good plan. We took a lot of things away that they've been doing so well, but we but we just could not stop the run, the little old cutback run. And Driver's a good runner. Didn't play last week, and uh, we forgot how good he was. And uh, But anyway, I thought the defense, and I think you hit the nail on the head, the defense did what they had to do in the third and fourth quarter to win the game. We, we really finished pretty strong, and we played better and better and better. I thought the conditioning factor of our team was obvious tonight. We were in a little better condition than they were. We played a lot of guys. Uh, we took a chapter out of Oklahoma's book and we played some guys in the early in the game on defense. Uh, young guys, pups that had never played. And, and they played pretty good, you know. And so uh, this was a nice win. The, another good thing, we got nobody hurt. So, uh, you know, we're uh, obviously pleased we won. Uh, we're concerned about some things that we've got to work on, but we feel like that we've made progress and so we're heading in the right direction.